Hello children and welcome to your channel Sharda Edu Care and in this video circle chapter of standard 9th we will be learning theorem second that the segment joining the center of the circle and the midpoint of its chord is perpendicular to the chord. Let's see children but before this we will do an activity take the pencil paper pen and also compass. Let's begin children. We have to draw a circle in our notebook. Let us draw a circle of uh, 3 centimeter. Okay. And we have to draw any chord, chord of any length. Chord of any length. And then we have to join the midpoint of the chord to the circle. Center of the circle, to the center of the circle. Then we have to measure the angle made by the segment with the chord. What will be the angle which is made by the segment with the chord? Let's do this activity children. Take a point O and I want the point exactly on the line. Yes. Label it out. Draw a circle of any length, any radius. Take a little, little smaller radius. Yes. Draw a circle. Yes, very good. Now, draw a chord. Keep the scale on the chord and see which is exact midpoint of the chord. The length of the chord is 5.8 and midpoint of the chord would be 2.9 children. And mark that point 2.9, yes, on the chord and label it as P. Now join OP. Now take the protector, we can extend the line OP so that we know the exact angle. Please extend the line OP. Now keep the protector again. And the line is exactly passing from the 90 degree. So children now only we saw when we drew the segment joining the center of a circle. O is the center of a circle and the midpoint of the chord. AB is the chord. A B is a chord given, we have to write down segment AB is a chord of a circle. O is the center of a circle. And the line joining the midpoint of the chord, let us take there is a point on the chord that is point P. P is the midpoint already. We have written here, P is the midpoint. We have to join a line. We have to draw a line which joins O and P. That means point P is a midpoint. If point P is a midpoint, then segment AP will be equal to segment PB. This is what we have to write down in given. See, what does the theorem say? The segment joining the center of a circle, the segment 
which join the center of a circle and the midpoint of the chord. P is the midpoint of the chord. Is perpendicular to the chord. This segment is perpendicular to the chord and this is what we want to prove. This segment is perpendicular to the chord and we want to prove it. Okay. So, therefore, here segment OP is perpendicular to the chord. We have to write down to prove. In the exam, you will be only getting this statement. The given and to prove, you will have to write down. By the statement, you will have to understand what you have to write in given. And by the statement, you will have to understand what you have to write to prove. In this, the segment joining the center of a circle. Segment joining the center of a circle and the midpoint. That means point P is a midpoint. If point P is a midpoint, AP is equal to PB. If point P is a midpoint, then AP is equal to PB. It's given then. Therefore, AP is equal to PB. Is perpendicular to the chord. That means OP is perpendicular to the chord. And segment OP is perpendicular to the chord. You have to prove. Let's prove it. First thing which you will do is join. What you have to join? Construction. Okay. What is the construction? We have to join. Join OP, OA and OB. And we have to write down. Join OA and OB. Clear? Now you get two uh, triangles. What do you want to prove? You want to prove this is 90 degree and this is 90 degree. Now looking at these two triangle, what can we say? What can we say about OA and OB? Children, what is the relation between OA and OB? OA is the radius, OB is also the radius. So what is it? They are equal. So we can say OA is equal to OB radii of same circle. Okay, they are the radii of the same circle. Clear? Now, AP is equal to PB given. Segment AP is equal to PB given. Third. OP is equal to OP common, common segment. So all three sides of these two triangles are equal to one another. OA is equal to OB, AP is equal to PB which is given, OP is equal to OP which is common. That means this triangle is equal to this triangle. This means triangle OAP triangle OAP is congruent to triangle OAP is congruent to triangle OPB by which property side 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 property side side and side property all the three sides are equal to one another so we can say these two triangles are equal if these two triangles are equal these two angles also will be equal. Children, angle OPA, I can say in fifth statement, I can write in fifth statement, angle OPA. Now, children, when you are writing the angle, which angle I am talking about? I am talking about this angle, the one which I am writing with red. Okay. So, when I want to name this angle, this letter must come in the middle. It has this one side and this is another side. In the middle, this is the P. So, P should come in the middle. OPA. Angle OPA is equal to OPB. And reason is what? Congruent angle of congruent triangle. Both the triangles are congruent and therefore both the angles will be equal. 
So, once we proved it, in the next statement we can say OPA angle OPA plus angle OPB is equal to 180 degree children. Can you say why? OPA is equal to OPB, OPA plus OPB is equal to 180 degree. The reason is they are linear pair. They are linear pair. If they are linear pair, OPA but both are equal. Okay. Let them be as X. Let me take it here. Angle OPA is equal to angle OPB. OPA is equal to OPB. Let it be equal to X assumption or assume. Okay. Once we assume it and we have got here X plus X. I can write here X plus X is equal to 180 degree this one now 2 x is equal to 180 degree now x is equal to 180 upon 2 so when i divide it i'll be getting it 2 ones are 2 nines are so x is equal to i get 90 degree so x means this any one of the angle so I can say angle therefore I can say OPA is equal to OPB is equal to 90 degree and if we prove 90 degree we can say line OP is perpendicular to line AB. Therefore, we can say OP is perpendicular to AB and this is what we wanted to prove. Yes, children. So, learn this theorem properly, practice as many times as you can and like the video, share the video and subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed. In the next video, we will be learning the examples and the practice set related to this chapter circle and the example which are based on this theorem and the another theorem which we have already done in the video number 2.